where we could see all the fireworks to you guys i miss that and also the cold weather in san francisco i miss i miss it as well hi guys beauty max channel today's video i'm just going to share with you what my day was today today is july 4th so happy 4th of july i already forgot it's july 4th in the states we could have go to a like a bridge area or like for us i was in the bay area we would go to like pier 39 or go to where the Tempartan Bridge is. So we go there or Embarcadero where we could see all the fireworks to you guys. I miss that. And also the cold weather in San Francisco. <laughs> I miss I miss it as well. Yes, those are the things that I miss in the States. It's been uh, four over four years now since we've left US. <laughs> the US yeah so yeah and also barbecue right but we did I did have my barbecue today we eat at rib shack so I got um, a spare ribs and there's some achara over there rice of course unlimited rice you guys and the price for it is only 125 pesos and then the the iced tea it's 45 pesos diva very 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 uh how you call that affordable or easy on the budget <laughs> and then the the taste it's marinated very very well very yummy the meat is tender i do love it so yeah rib shack if you know if you miss like a good barbecue like simple barbecue chicken spare ribs back ribs and what else barbecue pork barbecue um yeah rib shack i would recommend because it's not so expensive you know it's in a median price range so i think i will recommend that okay and then we're supposed to eat at i oh know the little one's supposed to eat something at belgian waffle which is one of his favorite but then <laughs> we didn't know the mall is closing the stores are closing it was almost seven o'clock we didn't know the time you know we still have that Cebu, uh, how you call that, Cebu time zone. So we don't know what's going on. But when you are in a province, <laughs> province life or provincial uh, area, the uh, the stores uh, are short. The time period of the uh, like opening of the stores are very short so mostly they clo close at seven or oh, seven to eight okay depending on the stores so when you're in the province <laughs> i forgot so the little one cried and then say okay we go to i know red ribbon since there is red ribbon and still it's open so we got him a ob cake oh he's so yummy <laughs> for that small thing but not really no compare when I compare prices from the US and here <laughs> it's 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 not comparable but the taste I don't know the taste yet I will try it later <laughs> okay so uh, that's for the mall story and but before that before we went to the mall we went first to get Yanis's uh, school uh, we enrolled him to one of the private school here in Tagbilaran City. So, for 
for information about going to school, re school requirements, if you are a dual citizen or a Filipino dual citizen, if you are interested, I will give you some information. Uh, if you are interested, like have an idea what requirements, a school per school, and as well, well, if you talk about the school here in uh, Bohol, in Cebu, I'm not very familiar so much because we only did one school, <laughs> but I think it's about the same, but we'll see. Okay, so that's about it. We went to the school, enrolled him finally, so we can get him a slot or something for the school because it's important, right? And their opening classes will start uh, next month, August, uh, second week of August. So yeah, we still have time for him to let him enjoy his vacation. That's very, very good. And what else? Um, and then after that, we went, I went, we went. So we drove to, um, I don't know, how you call this in the area, BCQ. <laughs> I have no idea because in Cebu, we call it downtown, uptown, Cologne. We have there like that or a seaside area, right? Or reclamation area so i'm not familiar with the terminology here in in bohol so went to the where altora small is that right beside it is the island city is it island city center i'm not very sure you guys so went to pldt no i went to pldt instead because the parking is hard but Hubby went to park at Al Torres Mall, just right next to where the building of PLDT is. So not really their building, but they are inside the mall. <laughs> okay, it's a tiny little, uh, little how you call that place or for PLDT. I'm not used to like the small stuff because in Cebu it's like huge, you know. But you know, comparison. <laughs> so I just went in there. I am the second to last customer that day allowed to get in <laughs> good thing i was able to make it It was like after almost five o'clock their establishment will close at 5 30 but then the manager signaled the guard to cut off <laughs> around after i got in like five it was a very good like fast process so he told me about the the plans on the data and then but we we just get what we used to in Cebu because it's just the three of us we don't really need a lot of you know bandwidth and or speed something like that we just need uh the lowest one so and i think it's for us it's faster anyway because we're not used to the highest uh like speed you know and we don't really need it and also i'm not working like you know call center you have to have uh like bigger speed or faster speed you know to uh, do your job right that means like doing only YouTube and Facebook or like do my blogger writing so it's it's I don't really need it I don't need so much speed okay so the lowest they got is 1399 for 50 Mbps so it's good and they said to uh, have it surveyed maybe around expecting two to three days from now so hopefully Hopefully, hopefully cross my fingers because the data or the cell phone here in this house we are like the far end of the community so the signal is on and off especially with the mobile phone sometimes I good signal sometimes I don't and then some the areas of the house there's a good signal and then this room no <laughs> so I have to be in a kitchen good thing it's in the kitchen because i usually like to go in the kitchen to vlog so that's good all right okay so that's it that's the two main thing important thing that uh was happened today which we are glad <laughs> and that's it so for any other like stories it will be tomorrow okay <laughs> all right thank you so much for watching for this vlog i hope you learned something a little bit <laughs> okay so this will end our vlog for today thank you so much for watching